Buhari's aide, Gara Bashe, who recovers from COVID-19. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The senior special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Garaba Shehu, has recovered from his COVID-19 illness. Wow. I don't know what we are supposed to be doing to this news, but um, we'll send him our prayers. But uh, he's, he's a human being and he's, um, he was sick. Some people are going to be like, you know, but this is obvious news. Who cares? Maybe they're trying to bring it to you Nigerians. Especially this coconut head generation that COVID is actually real for those who don't believe. And maybe he needs our prayers. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more info about this. The news in detail. Shehu announced his recovery in a Facebook post on Wednesday, barely a week after he confirmed his initial positive status to channel's television. I thank Almighty Allah for my speedy recovery from COVID-19. He said on the social media post, My prayers and deepest respects are for all of you who prayed, called, or texted, expressing your concerns for me. May all of our countrymen and women still afflicted with this virus fight this cold with all their might and get well soon. Report that emerged that some of President Muhammad Bari 8 have gone into isolation after they tested positive for COVID 19, while the number of those infected could not be ascertained. Shehu told Shania's television on Saturday that he had contracted the disease. Despite being fully vaccinated, he disclosed that he had mild symptoms of a disease, a trait connected with the Omicron variant. On the other hand, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mami, said that he was neither in isolation nor receiving treatment for the disease, contrary to reports suggesting he was positive for the virus. Reacting to the COVID concerns within the presidential villa, another presidential spokesman, Fermi Adeshina, said there was nothing abnormal about the president's age testing positive for COVID-19. Adeshina, who is a special advisor to the president on media and, and publicity, stressed that they were humans just like every other person. They can fall sick. They can contract the virus. The virus can also disappear. He said that in an in earlier interview with Channel Television, the fact that we are presidential is does not make us immune to certain things. If there's a virus ravaging society, well, it can touch anybody. Okay, um, for this one, I'm going to say something. Let me say this. Now, this is a revelation. For those who are saying, uh, I've taken my COVID-19 vaccine, and I'm not immune. They should think again. They should think again. Which means even while you are fully vaccinated, mm -hmm, and you are parading yourself, if you don't take um, preventive measures, you are still going to be exposed to it. So Mia, it now leave, it's not leaves me asking, what exactly does the, virus, that does the vaccine now do for you? Since this particular person, and of course other persons have, you know, actually taken full dose of their vaccine, so exactly why did they now catch the Omicron? It's leaving a lot of questions. And, you know, the federal government is threatening to, you know, start selling the vaccine and all of that and all of that. Exactly why? I want to know the reason why. They should look into it. Come and take the vaccine. Come and take the vaccine. It will keep you safe. It will keep others safe. And me too, I was a preacher of it though. I was, I was like, okay, if this thing is going to be like, what is going to be, what is going to help contain this virus, then fine, people should go and take it. Now, it's leaving a lot of questions on, the, questions on our mind. Why should people now go and take it? Since this so-called vaccine itself cannot even, you know, keep you, cannot prevent you from getting Omicron, the new variant of COVID-19. Well, didn't the Lekwacha Shehu take the COVID vaccination when his friends about Buhari took the jabs or what went wrong? We need to know to assert the fear of Nigerians. He said that he took the vaccine. So me, myself, I'm even amazed that he took the vaccine and yet he says it's positive. While it is not, it is not new, it is not strange, number one, that he caught the virus. Why? Because they are always going out and in of a country. Those countries that have relisted Nigeria and doing all that, some countries that have been affected before, they obviously did them. So it is not coming as a news. 
They have always been coming in contact at one point in time with those that have it knowingly or unknowingly. Are we so sure this guy is not playing politics with this whole fable? Boyer and his collaborators, collaborators are capable of anything. Well, mm -hmm, that one follows her. But that does not mean I'm saying so. All I'm saying is, if he's saying he has COVID-19 and he recovers, sincerely, I think it's high time Nigerians stop this hide and seek game. Like, stop calling what is black white and stop calling what is white black. Why? Because at the end of the day, there's a consequence for every of our actions. Sincerely. If it was COVID, fine and good. If it is not COVID and call it COVID, sincerely, don't be scared or don't be afraid when COVID knock, comes knocking at your door. If, has he not taken the jab before? If he has taken and still contacted COVID, then why are they forcing everyone? If he has not taken before, now why forcing us to do the same? Exactly what I'm saying. If they have taken the COVID-19 vaccine and they are forcing everyone to do so, and even after taking the COVID-19 vaccine, you can even catch the virus. So, what exactly is not the point? Why trouble people? Why? If it's that easy to contract and to recover, then why all the noise about it? People can joke for this life. Uh -uh. He did not contract a COVID-19. Now why you? You see? This this um, administration has made people, as in any truth, any iota of, as in before you believe anything they see, before they win the trust of the people they gain sincerely, they will need to do things for a very long time. So why was there so much noise for the vaccines? To me, there's no need for vaccines because COVID is treatable and we should not take vaccines for it. A lot of people, a lot of people are, are, are stating their opinions. He recovered from cold, not COVID. Hmm, okay. I stopped believing these people since. Who knows whether it's another way to get shared of December looting? If they thought we are not, if they thought we are not the same, Okay, let the country swap everything, security and war mode. Let us see who will run away from Nigeria. Oh my goodness. <laughs> APC government is Antichrist government, led by Boko Haram. No coronavirus case in Nigeria. This is a way of stealing our money because right from early onset, nothing like COVID-19 cases in Nigeria. What is killing innocent people of Nigeria is Boko Haram and bandit. And what we have here in Nigeria is typhoid and malaria cases. Even the foolish ones... That take the injection is still coming for love for malaria and typhoid test and treatment. Okay, well, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning into lesson. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.